Hey guys, how y'all doing today? My name is Franchise Fanatic, and welcome back to the channel. If you guys, this is another Ninjago video. Now, this is the second Ninjago video that I said I was going to do, uh, and this is kind of covering a topic that not a lot of Ninjago YouTubers or not a lot of, I guess, Ninjago people or fans as a whole talk about, because uh, it's kind of a strange one. It's not necessarily a theory. It's more or less, uh, I guess, co common sense. But, you know, Ninjago specifically, and I titled it something in the title, uh, Lego Ninjago, right? Like, when most people say you want to watch Ninjago, they say, hey, you want to watch Ninjago? They don't, so, they, you know, they don't say, hey, do you want to watch Lego Ninjago, Masters of Spinjitzu, the TV show that's Lego? You know, they just say, hey, you want to pop in some Ninjago? You know, maybe if you say the Lego Ninjago movie, which we'll get into, but, you know, for the most part, people say, hey, you see that Ninjago episode, you read that Ninjago book, you play that, you know what I mean? So... The reason why I'm saying Lego specifically in this video is because it's such a weird thing. Because the Lego minifigures, right, and there's probably an Ninjago guy somewhere over there behind me. Um, you know, Kai, Cole, Zane, Nia, Pixel, Peru, whatever. Uh, they're minifigures, right? They're Lego minifigures. But they're never mentioned as Lego minifigures. I don't even think they say the word Lego, except maybe once or something. Um... And that's because it's really weird, because you look at it and you're like, okay, it's a Lego show with Lego minifigures, but at the same time, they don't act like Lego. You know what I mean? Like, the Lego Ninjago movie, it's, everything's made out of, for the most part, everything's made out of Lego bricks, you know, Lloyd loses his arm, Grumman, he pops it back in, you know, like that. Um, so there's a lot of things in that film where you look at it and you're like, okay, it's made out of Lego, so, you know, they can do Lego things and all that. Uh, but the, the Lego Ninjago TV show which is what we're primarily talking about. Uh, you, like I said, you have these Lego minifigures, but you're dealing with a non-Lego built world, right? Uh, I remember Lloyd in Season 8 one time, on the one, one uh, I think they were on the bounty. Uh, he says, oh, I know, I know, we'll fall out of the sky like a brick. And at first I was like, oh, Lego brick! And then I'm like, oh, he means like a real brick, like a like a non-Lego brick, like a freaking brick brick that you build a house with kind of thing, you know? Because um, they're heavy, they go, Pfft. you know, that, that's what he was talking about. And uh, they, they always mention, they were always talking, and they're like, oh, he'll break his neck. You know, Cole hits his head. Presumably, he's dead. You know, Zane's a robot. That's really got nothing to do with Lego 2. Uh, you know, you have all these different elements where they're like, oh, my organs or, you know, my, my, my insides. Or they, they do mention things that humans have, like bodily functions or, you know, getting stabbed or uh, feeling emotion. You know, they, if they lose a limb, they can't just pop it, back, you know, pop it back on. They're all good to go like the movie. If you lose a freaking limb, you lose a freaking limb. You know what I mean? It's just that easy. Um, you know, like when, when uh, I think it was King Kalmar, uh, or Kalmar kills his king and he becomes the king. Um, you know, he shoots him. It's not like his torso flopped off and they just, they snapped it back on and you're good as gravy, right? No, like he's dead. He died. You know what I mean? So there's a lot of weird things in Ninjago that, yes, they're, we're dealing with Lego minifigures, but the actual environments are not made out of Lego. They're like normal animation. And then you also factor into the fray that you have these, uh, you know, ever since maybe, uh, I think it was a, the Ice Chapter, uh, Season 12, uh, and then I, I think they did it in, I think, Prime Empire and uh, maybe 14 or something like that. Something like that. Uh, they had these anime-style, you know, inspired segments uh, where they're not even effing Lego minifigures now. Now they're just like normal people, but they're like Simpsons, you know, they have yellow skin. Um, and it's great, you know, I really do enjoy that, I think the anime things are pretty good, I don't think it detracts from anything, I, do, I think they're pretty well handled. But, uh, you know, they're not Lego minifigures anymore during that style, and I know why they're doing it, they want to express their creativity, and they're just trying to tell a, you know, unique backstory in a fun and creative way. But in canon, it also makes sense, because yes, it's a Lego show, and they're Lego minifigures, but they're not in the Lego world, you know what I mean, they're simply just there, and it's really strange. So. My theory, my, my idea of this is that Lego Ninjago is not necessarily about Lego because it adheres, it doesn't adhere to the rule of Lego, right? You can't pop things back into place. They mention that they are humans and they have human parts. Uh, they have anime segments, with, which are not even Lego at all. You know, they're completely animation. So really, Lego Ninjago is a show with Lego in it, but it's not a Lego show. It's just simply the creativity and the medium that the creators, the Hageman brothers, Tommy Andreessen, whatever. Um, they, it's basically the medium that they chose to tell this story with. And that's really endearing. Because they're not saying, oh, it's a Lego show and they can just build a bridge using Lego bricks and, 
you know, they, they lose the leg and they pop it back. No, it, it's a human world with human consequences, but it's just they're telling that medium through Lego minifigures. You know what I mean? And it, it's, it, it's like an existential crisis, because you're looking and you're like, oh, there's anime characters now, and then there's Lego, but there's nothing else Lego. You know, so primarily a lot of people bring up the idea that, oh, maybe there could be a, a Ninjago, uh, you know, live-action show or a live-action movie or whatever, you know, something that isn't Lego Ninjago, it's just Ninjago. And, uh, you know, I can honestly see that happening. I really, really could, because, you know, you factor into the, like I said, you factor into the fray again, that... They have anime, and they have Lego, but nothing else is Lego. You know what I mean? They're, they're basically humans. They're just telling that story through Lego minifigures. And I think if you were to make a live-action film or TV show or whatever, even a spinoff, um, I think it really could work, you know, because you, then you're going, oh, well, okay, it's not Lego Ninjago anymore, but, you know, really the only reason why it's called Lego is to sell the toys to kids and adults. That, that's the only reason. Because um, I bought Lego Ninjago as a kid, and I'm sure as heck going to buy them now when I'm 22. I'm going to keep going with Ninjago. You know, it's probably... One of, if not my favorite franchise of all time. It's pretty, pretty close with Star Wars. Um, but again, I just thought it'd be interesting because no one really talks about it. You know, it's a Lego show, but nothing else is Lego. And they, like, again, they mentioned being human. There's anime segments, which aren't even Lego at all. Um, and I think it's kind of cool that, you know, the creators, they didn't create this world from Lego. They just have minifigures in it. You know, I mean? like I said, uh, the water isn't made out of Lego bricks, you know. It's like Garmin on lifting the rocks and Sons of Garmin on Season 8, and he's chucking them at these guys. They're not Lego brick rocks. They're just rocks, you know what I mean? So it's really interesting to kind of, when you think about it, I don't want to, like, break the show or, you know, destroy your love for it, but it's kind of funny because you're factoring in that it's a Lego show, but it's not necessarily about Lego. It's just the medium that they chose to tell a story with, and I really do admire that. Hopefully we can get more anime stuff, maybe some more, maybe even a live-action thing, who knows? Uh, of course, the Lego Ninjago movie is specifically a Lego movie because there's Lego bricks in it, but this is kind of strange because uh, apart from the toys, really nothing in that show is Lego except for the minifigures themselves. And again, I think that's kind of interesting. You know, it's like The Simpsons. Why are they yellow? I just That's what they wanted to tell the medium story with. You know, I just wanted yellow skin. You know, it's that easy. Um, it's just, I don't know, I find it really interesting and kind of endearing to kind of think about and go, oh, Ninjago, it's not just a Lego show. It's just, there's Lego in it. You know what I mean? I think that's really, really interesting. And I guess you can say the same with Chima. I didn't watch Chima. Um, Nexo Knights, I didn't even see that. And then uh, Unikitty, that's all Lego, I think. And then uh, the freaking other one, with the new one. Like the, the Shang-Chi-inspired thing. I don't, I don't remember what that's called. But uh, that one, I believe, is anime, but it is Lego anime. So it's a bit different. But this one really is kind of its own thing. And uh, I like it. So again, tell me in the comments what you think. Have you ever given this any thought? Did you ever watch the show and be like, oh... Nothing else is Lego. That's kind of weird, you know what I mean? Or why are they anime now, or just something like that. Uh, I think it's interesting. I think it's kind of a neat little thing to think about, and, uh, you know, I admire the creators for doing that. If you want any more Ninjago content regarding the Lego Ninjago movie, the TV show, the, the video games, whatever, tell me in the comments of this video. Uh, I don't want to make this just a Ninjago channel. Of course, as you guys know, I'm franchise fanatic. I cover a plethora of different franchises. But uh, Ninjago is one of my favorites, if not my favorite franchise ever made, and I have such a deep and loving respect for this franchise. So if you guys want to see anything more, uh, you know, tell me in the comments. Again, make sure to subscribe if you want Ninjago, Lego content, as well as a butt-ton of other stuff. Franchise fanatic, you know, I do everything. Star Wars, Marvel, DC, Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter, and of course, Ninjago and Lego. Again, thank you guys for watching. Tell me in the comments what you think about this theory and kind of this discussion idea, and we'll see you guys in the next video.